so if you never replaced the wheel bearings or rotors on Mazda 323 1989 yeah have fun with that because I'm having so much fun literally so much fun so yeah and uh, I'm actually gonna replace all four wheel bearings because I'm gonna do that side and replace all of them I'm about to take the axle out. I'm gonna need to change the brake rotors. So also changing pads. These uh, calipers are okay actually. There's nothing wrong with them. They look kind of fresh, so they were probably replaced. So I'm not gonna do anything about those calipers. But I just want to get these pads out and change those. Still had some life left, but I'm gonna change all this, clean it, make it nice, and reinstall everything back. So. got new seals for it it's a procedure to replace this the front rotors on this car it's crazy I've got fresh grease I'm gonna be putting in so now the seal off you have to you know separate the knuckle from the rotor which is really funny like there's nothing really holding here like the bearing or anything so when the bearing gets torqued it's just the axle and the nut on the other side is just kind of squeezing the bearing together. One eternity later. Not gonna lie, this was terrifying. Having to separate these two halves, it was nuts. So I'm gonna clean everything, change this rotor, and then uh, inspect the bearings and re-grease the bearings, change the seals. all the body all cleaned up on both sides surface all smooth here it took me a while to clean the surface the old gasket was really stuck to it every time I looked at it it just got lower and lower yeah. looks like a straight dump yeah there you go never mind it was like that Install this bad boy. What a pain, huh? decided to change these bearings because this one was noisy this one also like not the best of shape and got some dirt on it might as well do it you don't do this job quite often so yeah it just sucks like on this specific car like it's uh it's a pain to change the rotors and everything I have to take it all apart so yeah just removing these races bearings they have bearings in stock and i got my rotor ready right there actually painted so now i'm gonna be changing these bushings and I'm gonna install these ones. Yeah, so we're gonna see how these ones work. I heard good stories about these, so let's see. But these are original pretty bad. Oh, yeah. So if you never replaced the wheel bearings or rotors on Mazda 323, 1989, yeah, have fun with that, because I'm having so much fun literally so much fun so yeah and uh, i'm actually gonna replace all four wheel bearings because i'm gonna do that side and replace all of them i got new rotor installed onto the hub got new seal the inner seal i have to install that first before the bearing about to change these uh Terminals, the old ones were pretty bad. Um, I have one brass because they only had one brass and one silver, so that's okay. I just want to make sure that everything gets tight here and no corrosion. It's a big task to replace the front rotors on this car, so it's pretty insane. But you gotta take everything off, you gotta take the knuckle out, and then yeah, it's 
pretty good car, but I don't know why they did it this way. It's a lot easier to replace orders on orders on a lot of classic Mercedes than this car. So yeah, and then uh right here we're gonna replace this axle. The boot is actually torn right there. Just decide to get new axle. Easiest thing to do. Um yeah, and the axle is gonna have a lifetime warranty on it too. So there's that axle that right there is actually torn, so I'm just gonna replace the whole thing. So this is the knuckle I'll be working with to replace uh, a rotor on it. Then it's a brand new axle. I'm gonna change that, install it here. So the only difference that I'm seeing so far is just that it's got this ABS ring. This is a non-ABS car, so yeah, but hopefully it fits. Fortunately, I lost a lot of trans fluid when changing this axle, but I'm just gonna have to refill it. Mm, Cause I already did the trans fluid change on this transmission. But anyways, this is the, the torn boot right here. And this joint is also pretty weak, starting to make noise. Same with this one. So good thing we're changing it right here in the meantime. This side's not too bad. I'm gonna clean it and lubricate everything with fluid film. Preserve that stuff. All right, so basically <laughs> this time it went faster and I noticed unfortunately this side is missing a, a dust shield, sadly. And uh, yeah, the reason, well, because it was missing dust shield, it was actually really easy to pry this thing up. I just put the pry bars and started prying apart all this stuff and these bearings came apart like that. This one still needs to come out of there. Yeah, so someone's been here before they redid this job but they didn't install the heat shield and it sucks i just want to put this side back together tonight so it's okay this uh this is gonna be okay for the next until the next time the, when the rotors are gonna need to be replaced and that way we will actually know that it needs that heat shield installed so we will buy it but right now i just want to install this side tonight uh yeah but as you can see i'll show you on this side this side has this heat shield as you can see so yeah and i kind of painted this rotor a little bit so to preserve it some more still waiting on pads oh a lot of work so we got new bearings and races these are the old races I took out i'm gonna clean this hub really nice right now and start installing new races Alright, new bearings are all greased up, ready to go. Alright, finally got the wheel bearing out of this hub, it was a pain. We got new seals. So this seal, it's all cleaned up already, but this seal is going to go on first, like that. And then you're going to press on that other bearing, and then the spacer is going to go on. And then you're going to install this onto the hub and then the other uh, bearing is going to go on. So it's quite a bit of process. Also, don't forget to install the brake rotor <laughs> before you do anything. All right, we've got it all ready. I'm going to install this. Remember, it goes this way. Do not install it the wrong way. The seal is going first and then this. And then I'm going to use tool to pound this thing on but on the inner race like right here on this inner part all right so now it's basically on the hub now i just gotta carefully go and the best is to use like a small screwdriver clean go all the way around and hit it bearing is finally on it took me forever to take my time if you have a socket that fits right 
over that inner diameter of the bearing that's actually really good. I didn't have one, so I just had to use a screwdriver and carefully go all the way around and just do that thing. And yeah, now we can install this spacer. Goes right over here. Final step is this bearing. It's gonna go just on like that. All right, and this is the one that you're gonna have to also kind of press in on the inner race. Yeah, super fun. I use this guy to it fits the inner diameter of this bearing really well. So that's what I used. And uh, yeah, just take out the excess grease now. I'm gonna put that seal back on. We've got more packages. Gonna start installing brake pads. Finally got brake pads for it. So I'm gonna do that. semi-metallic brake pads for this car and I'm uh, gonna install it just gonna put some lube first all right added some grease the contact area gonna install this guy might have to depress this caliper piston more <laughs> 